604 Comics back with another review. This time it's Todd the Ugliest Kid on Earth, issue number two. Didn't really like the first issue too much, but I thought I'd go and continue picking this up because I really wanted to see what's underneath the bag and see what Todd looks like. This issue doesn't really get that much better. Last issue we had Todd and he was thrown in jail because the police think he's the serial killer. Because obviously all little kids with a paper bag on their head look like menacing killers. This issue has a lot of typical uh, jail stuff. He's got this cell block neighbor who's a child rapist and there's a gang in the jail where they're trying to initiate some other prisoner and in order to do so they tell him that he's got to go shank Todd because again he's so terrifying and so menacing. You've got the typical shower scene where one of the, where one of the inmates they drop the soap but luckily for Todd he doesn't receive what comes after that, and instead he befriends this other prisoner by the name of Eddie, who is actually based off of a real-life inmate and one of Danny Trejo's friends. And uh, Danny Trejo's done this little, I guess, endorsement of this book. But anyways, back with the book, uh, Todd's parents don't really seem to care that much about him, even though he's in jail. Uh, it seems like there's some infidelities going on. His dad's ran, uh, run off, and I guess he's a fan of this movie star that appears later in this in, in the issue. His mother, meanwhile, goes to a bar to get drunk, and then she sleeps with some dude in the parking lot. But, like I said, there's not much about this book that was better than the first issue. At least the first one we had a little bit of a setup and we got introduced to some of the characters and the serial killer in this issue it's really not much there's not much development in here uh it takes about the entire book for it to finally develop a little bit and i still don't know how, where that's leading to so i really have no direction for this book the art is still not horrible but not great overall todd the ugliest kid on earth uh, I've, I've seen some of you guys' reviews of the first issue, and some of you guys really liked it. For me, it's not my kind of book, so I'm going to give it the same score I gave the first issue. I'm going to give this a 1.5 out of 5. I'm still going to continue picking up this book, because there's only two more issues to go, and I want to see what Todd looks like. And I'm going to continue supporting the indie books. So that is my review for Todd, the Ugliest Kid on Earth, issue number two. Thanks for watching.